The way apprenticeship works is an apprentice is hired by an employer and that employer agrees to train that apprentice over a period of time in a trade. A trade may be a voluntary trade or it may be regulated and we have 13 regulated trades in the, in the province, meaning that they have to train and be certified in order to work legally. And the issue that we were facing is if you're already certified as a Red Seal tradesperson, you can travel and work anywhere in Canada. But what happened is, is apprentices are, they're not certified. So they're still training, they're still working to gain that certification. So they're not included in the agreement on internal trade. So there was a need to uh, provide a mechanism for them to have that recognition so that they could work seamlessly uh, anywhere in Canada. It was very important to have the premiers on board from the very beginning. At one of their summer meetings in 2014, the, uh, the Council of the Federation met and they were looking at the agreement on internal trade and realized that this issue of apprentice mobility also needed to be addressed. And kudos to our premier who led that um, charge with his colleagues and approached the form of labor market ministers uh, to come up with a plan that would address this issue. And um, given that uh, Premier McNeil was the lead uh, for the Premiers, uh, that, that lead for developing the agreement fell to me as the Nova Scotia representative. Let me give you some context around the enormity of the task that Marjorie was asked to do. Keep in mind that relatively you're, you're starting from scratch across Canada to talk about labor mobility. And here's Marjorie tasked to lead that and eight months of Whirly Dervish is, is, a, is an underestimation of the work that she would have to do uh, with her colleagues in 13 provinces and territories. And soon uh, she would call me up and say, Duff, the Premier just called me, and, and is that okay? And I would laugh and say, the Premier's just cutting out the middleman, Marjorie, and I think he's got you on speed dial. So, um, and we soon saw with that partnership uh, that soon I had colleagues from, um, BC and Ontario and New Brunswick saying, wow, this Marjorie Davison, what a very special person she is. So all of us at Labor and Advanced Education couldn't be more prouder uh, of Marjorie's award. And uh, the work that she has done and with the Premier's inspiration nationally, uh, we're being recognized. The biggest difference for an apprentice is that now with the new agreement, those apprentices are recognized. If they permanently transfer to another jurisdiction, then that jurisdiction will recognize the hours that they've worked, their technical training, and their pre-employment. So now that can be accepted, mutual recognition is what we call it, and it allows them just to continue without disruption in their apprenticeship wherever they work in Canada. It was really interesting, uh, just the other day, um, uh, we had our executive meeting and just I just right out of the blue said I just wanted to make you aware of something pretty special, that Marjorie has uh, uh, won the Premier's Excellence Award. And people broke out into spontaneous applause. And of course Marjorie was mortified that I would have done that. Well Marjorie, you are a very special person and you are very deserving of this award. So Marjorie, I know you're the first to deflect uh, all this praise and all the things that are being said about you, but you are a very, very special person. And your leadership uh, has made a difference not only to your province, but to your country. It feels really great to be accepting this award today, um, particularly on behalf of all the people who have had a hand in making this a successful venture over the last year and a half.